All right, I'm excited. I haven't gotten to play. I, I think the last time I played a Double Fine game was Iron Brigade, or Trenched, as it was originally told uh, called. So I'm pretty pumped about this. So Broken Age. This is the big Kickstarter success, the so-called Double Fine adventure game for the longest time until they gave it an actual name. It was their big Kickstarter success that overshadows a lot of other ones, although there's certainly been bigger stuff since. And they just now finally put out the, f the full version, which is the reason why I didn't cover it sooner is because they only had out like, they had like half a game. And I don't want to play half a game. Not unless it's like specifically an episodic thing, but that's not really the point of this one, so I figured I'd wait for the final thing. And now it's time to get started. And so I'm able to pick a side, not really a side, but a campaign to follow. We have two parallel characters with their own stories. We're actually going to be bouncing back and forth between the two. And there, there, I, I assume there's going to be some sort of similarities or overlap or something going on with them, but I, I believe I can actually go back and, be, and forth between them at will, and they have their own separate campaigns. Let's start in the sci-fi world, because this guy's got a weird polygon... weird A weird polygon... blanket? And I kind of want to know what's up with that. Ooh. Hey. Rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel! Oh. Computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh. Computer. Off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. That's the mean sound? Or is that just saying that this is- oh, I have attention at the command. Let's get up and check that out. I feel very manhandled right now. Hey! Easy, computer! Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. <laughs> Choco Rockets? Sure. What difference does it make? Good morning, Commander Shea. Oh my god, my spoon talks to me. It huh? is my honor to be your training spoon today. What? Can't wait to start mission nutrition. Can I get an adult so spoon? Just pick me up and we'll start filling you up with space fuel. I don't I want to. If this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Is something wrong, Commander Shea? You're talking to me. I'm supposed Please to eat with say you. Say something, Commander. Stick me. Are you waiting for another spoon? Stick me in your mouth, Commander. We could send in a replacement, but I have to let you know I requested this mission specifically. I was on a waiting list for months. Uh, even though you've been very hard on us spoons in the past, even cruel, I. I just wanted you to know that working with you has been my lifelong dream. Oh god, I'm so embarrassed. I'll just shut up now. I just, I had, I had to witness that. I had to but let it keep going. you should eat. Many important missions today. Okay. Shutting up. You lied to me. You betrayed my trust. St yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Did he disappear? Oh, I picked him up. He's my inventory now. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Once more into the milky breach! So you press the bumpers to switch items, and this is the only one in my inventory right now. It's happening! It's really happening! Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. 
For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Did I just... Did I get pulled into an episode of Bravest Warriors? Am I stuck on that show now? Is that what's going on here? I just, I feel like I need to acknowledge the fact that everything on this entire high-tech spaceship is children's toys for toddlers and more concerningly he's actually playing with them so I can pick a task to go after avalanche victims runaway train friendship circle and foreign body better suit up and investigate that foreign body better suit up and investigate that foreign body Bounce, wow, wow. I like you going out there let's use the safety suit ah oh, come on am I gonna be a bubble boy is that what you're going to do to me? I mean, I wasn't far off. I'm wearing a scarf so I don't get cold in space. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Oh my god. This is what my life has come to. <laughs> Everything is culminated in this. What is that? Get it off. This is how this is how alien starts. I probably shouldn't play with this. Let's play with it. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! What? Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Space meat in a blanket. <laughs> I just got- I just got meat shot in my face. Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Wait, didn't I just look at the mysterious object on the hull? Am I crazy? I thought I just did that. What if I click on it again? I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay, watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right. What's going on here? Why do we have a object on the on the uh Can I redo the same tasks over and over again? What is this weird present thing? Let's look at it. I don't want to open it out here, just in case it's a puppy. <laughs> you don't know. You can't tell me what to do. Can I go up? <gasps> can I go Ooh. up? Ah. Ah. Does remind me though I need to play that game, Swapper. I'm getting immediate vibe from that. All right, just gonna let's try not touching it this time. Let's remind myself really quick of the controls. So interact is X, square is examine. Let's just examine it this time and not stick my face in it. Maybe. I think that's probably the best path. Do I have to get closer? Whoa, there's a retro mode. This seems pointless. Here we go. Man. Can't jump over it. I can't seem to investigate it with square. Open up. But this time, take it easy. You're going to 
going to love this dinner pill. Broccoli! It's like an every flavor bean. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Oh, I can't look at the thing on the on the ceiling anymore. Bummer. All right, so we could defend friendship circle. We need to help those Whoops. avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Plotting a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an ice cream avalanche! Yay! 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 That's not worse. I've come to the conclusion this is just actually an episode of Bravest Warriors. Everything about this is Bravest Warriors is kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm kind of curious what will happen if I switch over to the other character. Let's try doing that. No. Go away. No solicitors. But I'm sleeping. That's like better than everything. Oh god, I have a pixie's name. Okay, let's get up. Where is she? Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Also, I'm a little concerned that my sister appears to be blind. Completely. And t utterly blind. Look at me! Did you get eaten by a bear? Look at me in plain sight. If so, then I know you're lying because we don't have bears around here. Look at me. I'm right in front of you. No, don't look left and right. Look forward. How are you doing that? Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! I am not apparently in a hurry. I, I think she's gonna win. Oh, never mind, I picked it up. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the speed at which she raced. <laughs> Hello? It's probably a light switch around here, right? Surprise! Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. She's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> Wait, who is that person on the cake? Are we going to cut into a person? That's, that's a disturbing cake. Can I inspect the cake? <laughs> Retro mode. Sorry, what was the, uh, there's a, there was a button for snapping, wasn't there? Faster cursor, next item. Snap cursor, right stick. But clicking it is retro mode, so I guess we must... Oh, you, you, uh, you sort of tap it around and it looks at things. Where? I think that's supposed to look like Magchathra. My handsome date to the prom. Nope, not there. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? That is, yeah, I'd be concerned. That dress is roughly the size of like an entire village. And these hips don't quit. And then... Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> If you're hiding that knife, I'm going to use it on you. 
Turns out, turns out the de the uh, grandfather character is actually like a, a, a sword swallower. It's inside him. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Well, I don't know where the knife is. Maybe you baked it into the pie. Maybe you're trying to break me out of prison. Am I, am I going to prison? Is that what you're telling me? Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! She's very energetic for what looks like a 97-year-old woman. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. No, I already got it. You're 97. If you can't prove me wrong, I guess I'm just right. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Okay, I feel like an important detail was just revealed here. I'm gonna get eaten? And that's... We're, we're happy about this? Why... What the... F is it metaphorical? How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their Maiden's Feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast! If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Okay, I'm thinking that some sort of great beast just started coming around town here and there and would just eat somebody. And this just became a regular occurrence, it'd eat somebody, stop being hungry, and go somewhere else. And instead of like doing something to fix this problem, or fighting back, we've instead ritualized the process and we've gotten some sort of horrible like black lottery situation going on. Oh, this is... This is some warped society we gotta deal with here. Grandpa Beast Ender? <laughs> beast Ender? Did you hunt beasts? Are you a, are you a monster hunter? Do you know where Mom's knife is? <clears throat> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. He's probably calling it a shame feast because it only in is indicative of the fact that they failed to slay the beast. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Vela. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed. Pushed for appeasement. 
So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? <laughs> yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Bam! Dramatic reveal. Although we, I mean, of course he hit it. He's the grumbly old man that was very un unhappy about everything going on here. So, we have two parallel er er areas. Looks like someone who has it too easy and someone who has it pretty hard, but then is framed as if they have everything pretty easy. Because everything looks nice here, but I'm, I might be eaten soon? That's kind of fucked up. Meanwhile, the other guy goes on weird space missions. Anyway, I'm, I'm already engaged. I'm, I'm interested in seeing how, where this is going to go. So thanks for watching, guys, like always. And I'll see you next time, where I guess we're going to find a knife and help some weird creatures out of a... So ice cream avalanche? Is that really what we were talking about earlier? That was. That's what this game is. Okay.